and pop it out. There we go. Hi, Ryan from CarsAddiction.com and today we'll be showing you how to remove the Chrono Spark clock from your car. The car we are working on today is a Porsche 997 GTS and what we'll be doing exactly is removing the pod, replacing it with a carbon fiber one and replacing the Chrono Spark clock with this GT3 clock. Uh, you notice that it's a GT3 clock because it's the only Chrono Spark clock that comes with a yellow needle and yellow markings on the ring over there. Now, let's get to it. So the reason we're doing this job is to replace this dull looking plastic version with a carbon fiber one and to replace our faulty Chrono Spark clock. Uh, the one we have uh, suffers from the bent needles. They haven't fallen down yet, but there has been reports that they fall out eventually. Uh, you can see that they are bent right over there. And um, basically, um, we've contacted Paragon, the third party manufacturer for these. They won't sell you the needles up on, on their own and Porsche won't do it either. So that ha this whole unit has to be replaced as a whole. But if you stay till the really end of the video, you might have a solution on how to replace the needle only. Let's take everything apart. Okay, so let's get to it. What we need is a plastic pry tool. Uh, we're going to use this clot so we don't damage anything on the dashboard. Find the center. Wedge that in. And pop it out. There we go. Okay, just help it a bit from the back as well. Okay. And that's it, it's out. like this okay so as you can see it's exactly like ours what we have here the back plate will be transferring here and we're removing the screws t10 screws right over there again here's the old versus the new okay they both have this thing at the bottom so we can swivel and so what we're gonna do is replace it with the new part comes here you what you do is align the circular thing onto the bottom over there like so and then align this to our carbon fiber one it has a part over there okay so once you have everything all put together all those four screws just make sure this swivels so all that's left is to plug this in. Should plug in only in one way. Okay. Align it and just press down firmly until it snaps into place. Okay. And there's our pod. There it is, all installed, matching our carbon fiber wheel and carbon fiber trim. What's left is to turn it on and see if it works. So go to chrono and start timing. Wonder if I can get it to stop at 997. Almost. Ah. Missed it. So great, uh, we've got our unit out and the brand new one back in so we'll be able to drive the car right now while we play around with this. Now earlier in the video I told you I'm going to see if I can solve why you know these uh, warp and see if I can actually dismantle this whole unit and get to those handles and maybe 3D print them and make them available for the Porsche community so you guys can avoid buying a whole unit. Now make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell button below so you get notified when that video comes out which I hope it will be by this year. Uh, there's so many projects and I hope to get them. So in the meantime enjoy the other videos and take care.